Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning to you all. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Julian Cheney and I would like to welcome you for our Sunday online service. Thank you for choosing to worship with us and I pray that the word of God that is preached here shall become life to your spirit and bring testimony to you and your families. Hallelujah. Today we are having Holy Communion and I would like to encourage you wherever you are, pick something small to eat, pick something small to drink and put it aside as we wait for our pastor to lead us through Holy Communion. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we are committed to the word, worship and witness. Every Tuesday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., we are live on our social media platforms, that is Facebook and YouTube for Bible study with our resident pastor, Pastor John Bazira. Hallelujah. He is sharing with us the book of Revelations. So I encourage all of you to log in at that particular time to feed your spirits. Know what the spirit of the Lord is speaking to the church today. And on Fridays from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., we have the Holy Spirit revival service. In a time such as this, we not only learn how to pray right, but we also pray that there will be manifestation of the prayers for you, your family, and your friends. Hallelujah. And on Sundays, Sunday like today, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., we are sharing the word with our pastor, Reverend Robert Kaziwe. Join us. Prepare your spirit. It is a time to eat of the word of God. The word that is spirit and living. Come, let us enjoy the word of God. I encourage you to have a paper, a pen. Be interactive. Write something down so that you, you're able to carry it with you. Hallelujah. And I would like to encourage us, all of us that are out there, to continue giving into the ministry, to sow your seeds, to give offerings on the number that is written on your screens. And if you cannot get it to the numbers... Come to church, drive to church, walk to church. The Bible says that it is better to give than to receive. And with a good measure that you give, the Lord shall give back to you. Hallelujah. I would like to encourage us to like our Facebook page, to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Dominion Church International Mbuya. If you haven't done it, do it. Share the link with your friends. Encourage everyone to like our page. Hallelujah. And before I welcome the Dominion Praise Ministries. I'd like you to prepare your dancing shoes because you're going into a time of worship, praise as we give praise to the living God. Dominion Praise Ministries, you are welcome. From I and Dominion family, we love you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together as we praise God. For the Bible says, but now we know that all things work together for our good. And everything is turning around for our good to put your hands together as we praise God. Let me get my bucket. Turning around, sir. Turning around, it's turning around, it's turning around for me. Everybody say. Turning around, it's turning around, it's turning around for me. Everybody, turning everybody. Around, it's turning around, it's turning around for me. One more. Turning around, it's turning around, it's turning around for me. If a man be Christ, he is a new creation. All things are past, behold, all things are new. When the sun sets free, he's truly free indeed. What I'm going through is working out for me. Hey, everybody. Hey, hallelujah. Say, keep in mind. Yeah, walking around 
Jehovah, Jehovah, yeah, Jehovah. Everybody say, Jehovah, 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 hey, Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. to lift up your hands wherever you are and give him the honor that he's due give him the worship that he deserves because he is the king of kings and he is the lord of lords and he resides on the inside of us he's so big bigger than the biggest he's deeper than the deepest 
is greater than the greatest. Oh Lord, you're in this place with us. And we thank you for your presence. <laughs> and in your presence is fullness of joy. We know you're smiling at us as we worship you. Salabadaya kabarus. Leza balaba. And because you live, we live. day by day and so I leave you are my daily bread yeah you're very word it is spoken to me just lift up your hands wherever you are and I for you for you for you oh my god and I oh I'm lost without you yeah this is the air I breathe Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. So live your holy presence. Your holy presence. It's living in me. In me. Lift up your hands and say, This is my. My daily bread. Come on, just tell him I'm desperate for you. 
I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you.
where we need God than ever before where we need Jesus than ever before the other day I was watching a clip on social media and one of the generals in Uganda had attended a burial ceremony and then he was making he was mocking the Christian faith and was turning the mourners that about the resurrection issue he wasn't sure and then he went on to say that if Jesus was coming what is stopping him from coming and then I looked at this gentleman and my question was why then do you go to church why did you come to service if it wasn't for God and my heart said that whether in death he will need the Savior. Let me say it again. Whether in life there will be a point in time when he will bow his knees to look out for the divine intervention. And, and that goes for all of us. Because everywhere we look and everywhere we stand is sinking sand. Money is sinking sand. Fame is sinking sand. People sinking sand. Politics sinking sand. The world we live in, sinking sand. Your career, sinking sand. There is no firm ground around you. But I want you to know, the Bible says there is no other foundation which can be laid for us other than Jesus Christ our Lord. And if I was you, that is the prayer I would pray. Yes, sir. That Lord, I need you. I need you. I need you For I need you Yes I need you You satisfy The longing 
Father, we need you more than ever before. And in the name of Jesus, we invite you. In the name of Jesus, we welcome you. Come, Holy Ghost, we need you. Come, Savior, we need you. Come in your grace and your mercy. And change our lives. And bless us. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a mighty, mighty, mighty shout. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen and amen and amen. Amen, amen. If you have your Bibles, please. I want you to go to the Gospel of St. Matthew again. Chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. Last Sunday, we read from verses 1 to verses 6. We found in that chapter and in those few verses, Jesus assuring John that such no more because I am the true Messiah. You may have doubts. You may have Fears. Maybe your faith is at the crossroads. But Jesus assured John, not just in words, but he demonstrated his power and his mercy to, to tell John that such no more. Let's go now. As that great chapter concludes, from verses 25 to verse 30. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, Father Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hidden things from the wise and prudent. From the wise and the prudent. And has revealed unto babes. If you want to come to God, you must come as a if you become wise, beginning to reason and go on reasoning and reasoning and reasoning, you will miss Christ, you will miss God, you will miss his mercy, you will miss his miracles. From the previous verses, this is how the Bible tells us. From verses 20. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done because they repented not. Uh -huh, because they repented not. In verses 29, there was a city by the name Chorazin. He preached and performed miracles. And they didn't believe. In that same verse, there is another city by the name Bethsaida. He performed mighty miracles. And they did not repent. And there is another city in Tyre and Sidon. They repented not. And then he told them in verses 22 that if those miracles had been done in Sodom and Gomorrah, they would have repented. Then he went on to Capernaum. 
and he told them the same thing. He says, you know, Kapenam, you are exalted into heaven, but you shall be brought down to hell. For if the might works had been done in thee, that has been done in that, that have been done in Sodom. It would have remained unto this day. Verses 24 he says. That it shall be more terrible for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. So he had gone into all these cities. And he had preached the gospel. And they had seen the mighty works. They had seen the mighty miracles. The dead being raised. The blind eyes being opened. And many mighty miracles. But they didn't repent. They were so proud. And then he looked at them. And then he told them. I'm telling you. Unless you repent. You will go to hell. Then Jesus comes to verses 25. And he says at that time Jesus answered and said. I thank thee O Father Lord of heaven and earth. Because thou hast eaten things from the wise and prudent. And hath revealed and them unto babes. He gave the reason why all the cities where he was preaching and demonstrating the power of God. Why they rejected the message of Christ. Why Christ could not work for them. It's because they were wise and prudent in their ways. They were wise and prudent in their own thinking and imagination. And so he told them that it's a message for the babes. It's not a message for those who think they need all. It's not a message for those who think they have it all. It's not a message for those who think that they have got it all together. The message of Christ works for only those who come to a place of believing that it is Christ and Christ alone. It is Jesus and Jesus alone. And when talking about the cities where he had preached. He told us and said that if those cities had repented, they would have remained up to the present day of Christ. Which means it was sin that brought that, those cities down. It was refusing to accept Christ. And as it was in those days, I believe today we are experiencing what happened to those cities. The destruction of the economies. The destruction of the social setups of the nations. We have come to a place of knowing that education is not the answer by itself. That chemistry and biology is not the answer by itself. That big governments and big spending of money is not the answer. That medical science has its place. But what will ultimately bring judgment to the world? What ultimately will bring this world to collapse? What ultimately will bring the government of Uganda down? Let me say that again. What will ultimately bring the government of Uganda down is not even corrupt corruption. It's not even the people we have in power. It's not even the religious systems. It's simply when people reject they only rest. They only hope. They only savior. They only way out. They only rest. 
that God has for them. And that is Jesus Christ. And him crucified. Are you hearing me somebody? He says judgment will come to these cities. Not because they are non civilized. Not because they don't have political powers. Not because they don't have governments. Not because they don't have systems in place. But because they have rejected Christ. And why is Christ so important? Jesus told them, as he tells us in verses 27, all things are delivered unto me of my Father. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the son and in whomsoever the son will reveal then he made an appeal to them as much as he's making an appeal to us come unto me all ye that labor and ever laden and I will give you rest the same appeal he made to that generation is the same appeal he makes to you my friend he says come to me me. Because everything you need from God, I have it. The peace you need from God, I have it. The healing you need from God, I have it. The blessing you need from God, I have it. The grace you need, I have it. The master you need, I have it. The hope you need, I have it. The peace of mind you need, I have it. The prosperity. I have it. Everything that the Father has, He has given to me. Therefore, I Christ, I am your rest. You reject me. You reject everything that makes peace. You reject me. You reject everything that brings healing. You reject me. You reject everything that brings forgiveness. And help and health and prosperity. Every prayer you would pray to God the Father to help you. That prayer will come to me so that through me I can present your prayer. It's not Mary, my friend. It's not Saint Peter, my friend. It's not Saint So, my friend. It is Jesus Christ and Him alone. He is your rest. He is my rest. He is my eternal rest. Not only the rest in this world, but when the time comes for me to rest in life, I'll find that eternal rest in Christ. And in Christ, I will find my resurrection as well. Jesus. Yes. Our eternal rest. The same way he told those people. Is the same way he tells us. But I want you to note something before we close. He told them that the cities are going to be judged. Not because they are very sinful. Not because they are not sinful. But simply because they rejected the only rest and that is Jesus. And listen to me. Any civilization in the world that rejects the truth of the Bible will come down eventually. If you know history. Check what happened to Rome. The great empire of Rome. Check out all those great, great, great empires. The British Empire. The Babylonian Empire. The Russian Empire. Empires come empires come. But if you are there, the only solid ground you have is Jesus Christ. Yes, but to you, who have come to Christ, I want you to know you have found rest.
rest. Jesus tells you, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If you take it upon you, you will learn that I am meek and you will learn that I am lowly in heart and you shall find rest to your souls. Saints of God, simply believe in that rest because we receive things by faith. I want you to raise those hands to the Lord. I want to ask for forgiveness. I want you to come to the Lord by faith. I want you to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I accept my rest. I accept my Christ. I accept that gift that will save me from any judgment. Judgment now and judgment to come. So I receive Christ as my Lord and my Savior. I receive Christ as my deliverer and my peace. I receive Christ as my intercessor and my high priest. I receive Christ as my advocate and my way maker, my connector to God. I receive Christ. Today, I am born again in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you have accepted Christ, I bless you. In the name of Jesus. And to you who accept Christ, I pray God is peace to continue prevailing in your life. I pray God is peace to prevail in your home. I pray God is peace to prevail in your business. I pray God is peace to prevail in, peace peace to prevail in every area of your life. From your head up the soles of your feet. Pray God is peace to come to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Today is also a very special day because today we are going to partake of the Lord's table. We are going to receive of the Lord's table because the rest we are talking about was paid for on the cross was paid for on the cross. When Jesus was hanged on the cross, the Bible tells us the wrath of God, the wrath of God was poured on him. And when that wrath was poured on him, judgment came upon him. And when that judgment came upon God made peace with us. And today we have peace because of Calvary. So we have come today to celebrate that peace. Jesus told us that day when he was betrayed, the Bible says he break the bread. He break the bread. And he said, this is my body that is broken for you. And then after that, he took the cup. And the Bible says he drank a little bit of it. And then after that, he said to his disciples, I want you to take this and I want you to drink because this is my blood that is shed for you for the remission of sin so that you and me can have peace. Romans chapter 5 tells us that verses 1. Let me read that for you. Romans chapter 5. Verses 1. The Bible says, Therefore, being justified by faith, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, being justified, 
By faith, we have peace through our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, as we celebrate the victory that Jesus got us, let's remember that, that peace and that victory was paid for by the blood in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 That night, Echilecho. Jesus Yesu. took the blood Mugati. and he broke it Nagumenya. and said, Nagambanti. This is my body, Gwange. which is broken for you. I want you to eat it Njagala in remembrance of me. Ngamunzi he said, Nagamba. This is my body. Body that's broken for you. I want you to eat it in remembrance of your sins. So right now, let's eat the bread remembering that that body of Jesus was broken for us in Jesus' name. After that, I the cup. When he had sung, he gave to his disciples. And he says to them, so This is my blood. In the new covenant. That is shared for the remission of yours. Let's drink. drink. No. We have a covenant of peace. We have a covenant of peace. We have peace with God. We have peace with ourselves. Because of the Prince of Peace. And what he did for you. And what he did for you. In Jesus' name. And the Bible says. Bible says. As often as we take the bread and we take the blood of Christ or the symbols of Holy Communion, we do show the Lord's death until he comes. Father, we honor you and we give you praise. Thank you for the covenant of peace for that covenant of peace for the covenant of peace there's no enmity between us and you all your wrath was poured on Christ so that we can be set free in Jesus name Raise those hands. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other father knows. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious. Oh, is the flow that that made me white as snow? No other. Found I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. Let's declare that once again. Oh, precious is the flow that made me what I snow. No other found. 
nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. There is nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing, nothing but the Jesus. I want you to get your offering. And let's thank God for it. The number is on your screen. Where you can send your offering. And if you live within the area of the church, not far from the church, you can bring it to the church office. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift your name and we bless you. Thank you for everything you do for your people. Thank you for waking them up every morning. Thank you for blessing the works of their hands. Thank you for lifting them up from need and from lack, from poverty. You have raised them from the dust. You are God and you are God by yourself. Now be glorified in their sacrificial giving. Be glorified in their business. Place your hand on everything they touch. Rebuke the devourer for their sake. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. amen. Now before you send, just wave those hands to the Lord. Just wave to the Lord and just take a few moments to bless his name. Hallelujah, we bless him. We bless him. We worship him. He is worth of every praise. He is worth of every glory. Beautiful Savior, wonderful King, Prince of Peace. We bless you. We honor Him. Hallelujah. 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 Amen and amen. 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 We love you. We pray for you and we'll continue to pray for you. We lift you before the Lord every day. Jesus is mighty. Beautiful redeemer.